What up, homies? We out here. We fishing. It is freezing. The wind is going. And uh, I don't know how long we're gonna last. It's been like 15 minutes. We've seen two jump though. So Billy might be getting one right now. I don't know. But you got one? Oh, Billy's hooked up, baby. I'm gonna help him land this here. All right, so I think as you guys saw, we were just uh, probably been here for about 15 minutes. We've seen a little bit of action, and uh, as Spencer was doing a little intro, uh, we got on one. Not a big in, but uh, hopefully not the last one of the night. We're gonna see, uh, see what it looks like. Yeah, boy, it's all over flooded here. You can see the top of him because he's pretty much in the grass, but uh, we're gonna get him out and get a little video and some pics and stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna try and be quick because. We don't have the alarms and my rod's still out there. How's he feel, Bill, in the old hands? He's a slimy one. He's a flippy one, too. What'd you get him on? Got him on that yellow peach tropical flavor corn with the uh, PVA bag with the fish finder foilies. Boom, boom. I thought it was a double orange corn. Yeah, orange. I say what I say. It's, it's a, a tropical flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boilies in the bag. Boilies in the bag. Folks. Mega traction. Bagging it up. Clear eyed, nice guy. And uh, it's cold. Alright, let's try and get him back and see if we can get some more. I'm going to let this piece go back in here. You can see it's just grass right here. It's so flooded. There he goes. He wanted, He was ready to get back. Alright homies, that was one of the quickest sessions ever. It was like an hour, maybe a little more. But it was super duper windy. And that wind was just killing us. Both of us have like super runny noses already. <laughs> frozen hands, frozen toes, frozen joes. You know what I mean? <laughs> But uh, we gotta get some grub, eh there, Bill? Yeah, let's get some, some food in us and uh... The old, uh, the old Grammys are on tonight, so maybe we'll go catch some of that and uh, figure out the next mission next weekend. Yup, we got work this week coming up. Last weekend we struck out, so we'll see what we can slap together for a little video, but uh, at least we got one so far for you there, boys and girls, of course. But uh, anyways, peace out for now. Hope you like the video if it's already done or maybe it's continuing or not, but peace out for now. All right, what is up, homies? It's been a while since I've posted an unboxing. I have like three that I filmed, but they don't get very many likes and uh, people never comment them and tell me to keep doing them. So I don't really do them anymore, but if you like the unboxings, comment down below and I'll do some more. But this one is really special to me. It took me forever to find out where to get this. And I don't even know if the full setup is correct. But I think it is. I'll do a follow-up video to this. But uh, we just went fishing like last weekend or the weekend before. And only caught one. So I figured I'd follow that up with a special unboxing. This comes all the way from the UK. It, it took only three days to get here, which was pretty awesome. So we got some bubble wrap, we got some bubble wrap, and here we go. To start her off, we'll start off with a little teaser. This is a little white die. I don't know if you'll be able to guess what it is. Maybe it even says on the label and I am being a silly goose. This is the white color, obviously. Let's see here. Oh boy. Oh boy. This color. Lemon Sherbert. Check her out. Let's get a little focus going. Boop. Alright, so that's the Lemon Sherbert color. It's a little different than I was expecting, but uh, I'll explain why later. So we got the white, we got the yellow sherbet, and we got this right here. Can anyone guess what this is for? 
I don't think so. But look at that action there, boys and girls. We'll come back to that. If you know what it is, you're a genius. Well, I could have gave it away. Have some white color. Have some yellow color. Next up, we got some hardener. Some lure flex hardener. You guys have to be kind of figuring out what's coming here. The next thing we got is the lure flex firm. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say what's in here, but I know some of you guys that fish bass might know what this is here. So we got the hardener, we got some plastic, and we got some more liquid plastic. So this is Frog Flex. This is made for frog lures, so it's a floating plastic. The other one is not a floating plastic. It's just for bottom baits. And last but not least, Let's check out the main ingredient here, if I can even get her open. Bada binga! So guys, what does that look like to you? Maybe you guessed it by now. It is a plastic corn mold. So these go together, and then you pour the plastic down in this hole, and boom! You have yourself some plastic corns. Well, hopefully. I don't know if this has been attempted. They had some special kit to make some plastic corns on there, but they looked all mushy and didn't look right. So I got some frog plastic, I got some hardener, and I think with those two things, we can make the perfect plastic corn. So one cool thing about the corn molds is you can do so much with these. You can make pretty much any color you want, orange, pink, yellow, white, and you can add flavor into the plastic and then you can soak the corn in the flavor. So it's gonna be boosted up before you even get it in the water and the fish are gonna love it. So I couldn't help myself. I had to get myself some molds and some plastic and all the stuff to make some fake corn. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll do a follow up video with all this. I just want to do a quick little introduction onto what I got and to what you guys can expect in a video. There's plenty of more colors and plenty of more things out there I can do to perfect this bait, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. Oh yeah, if you didn't guess it, this is just another corn mold, but this is a top pour one. So you don't need like a little injector thing that you'll see in the coming videos. I don't even know if you need it for that, but I'm for the other mold, but I'm pretty sure you do. But uh, this one, you just pour the plastic over the top and it sets just like that. I don't know how well you can see in there, but inside those little holes, there's actually little like plugs for hair stops. If you've uh, used fake corn, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So there's a little section in the top of these corns that you can like countersink your uh, your hair stop, which is pretty dang cool. But anyways, that is that. I hope you like this video, guys. I got a little fishing, a little unboxing. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I can change up or if you guys have any ideas for videos. It's been a little rough fishing this February, not gonna lie. Been busy with work, haven't been able to get out. And Billy's running a golf tournament over here so uh well he's, he's not running it but you know he's pretty much running it anyways got some corn molds we're gonna get busy this weekend making some corn like i said hope you liked the video guys peace out for now i'll catch you on the flip side hopefully with some homemade corn